I didn't want anything to do with someone who was disabled because I was in denial. I didn't particularly like myself. Hi, my name's Sam and this is how my body has made me a better person. From the moment someone's born with a disability, the first words that doctors normally say that aren't congratulations, here's your beautiful baby girl, actually it's we're so sorry. I was born with a genetic disorder called osteogenesis imperfecta or brittle bones, which means I'm a full-time wheelchair user and I have a short stature. I didn't realise that I was disabled until other people started making me feel different. I wouldn't even be invited to sleepovers as a child because a lot of the parents were so fearful of having a child in their home with brittle bones. I was always bubbly, I was always the life and soul of the party, but the more and more people treated me differently, the more I, I felt like, what's wrong with me? People often think I'm a lot younger than I am, um, less intelligent than I am. I remember vividly either being at university and I got a really high grade in one of my lectures and the lecturer came up to me and patted me on the head. I always had beautiful girlfriends, really sassy. I'm a northern girl, so we like to get dressed up. But I, I up until the age of maybe 23, would be the friend that would sit in the corner at a nightclub and, and sit quietly with her drink. A lot of the opposite sex would, would, would either be really embarrassed to talk to me or they would um, even be quite cruel. Maybe dare one another to come up to me and ask me to dance. When your mother treats you differently or when your relatives treat you differently, that can be really, really hurtful. They almost can't imagine what you can achieve until you achieve it. I became a high school teacher and I know that a lot of people came up to me go oh, do, you, do you teach the little kids and I'm like no I teach the big kids and the shock on their face that actually became quite a driving force for me traveling all over the country all over the world talking about my life people ask whether I can have children if I live independently can I dress myself I get a lot of questions to do with my uh, sexual capabilities my ability to maybe have a relationship and not um, not need a carer. My saving grace is once they start to talk to me after five minutes, then they realise that any any stereotypes or anything they've labelled me, you know, to begin with, um, they completely evaporate. My biggest regret growing up was rejecting myself and, and rejecting those others with disabilities, other fantastic, amazing, creative, intelligent people who who oh happen to have a disability. So I never had a good group of people who kind of got me, that got what it was like on a daily basis. I still get um, episodes of, 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 of quite deep depression. I've learned to cope with it by doing forms of meditation, surrounding myself with positive people. If someone upsets you, go through those emotions. Don't suffer in silence. Everybody's got some form of, of, of body hang-ups. That's just how humans work. Being disabled is nothing to be ashamed of. This is the way that I have been born. And also it's made me a very empathic, compassionate person. It makes me a better daughter, it makes me a better sister and a, a, and a better friend. If I were to be reborn again, I would be reborn exactly the same.